Hey, what's up guys? Pav here from Producer Buzz. And today guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the noise from your microphone. Now I'm gonna turn the microphone up and show you what I mean by the noise. Can you guys hear that buzzing and humming in the background? I'm picking up everything in the room. We can turn it off with just one button. Boom. And this is on the live microphone input. If I turn this denoiser off, check this out. And I can whisper. This is how loud this is. Check this out. I'm picking up everything. So I've turned the microphone all the way up, as you guys can see. So even if I take this can, look. And if I turn the denoiser on, off, check this out. So much background noise. So, what is this magic VST? First of all, guys, Burton Denoiser is free to download, supports Windows and Mac. You guys can grab it from Producer Bus. There's a link in more info and Producer Bus providing more information as well as the external download link where you guys can download it. Now, free to download, free to use, really, really cool plugin. Uh, before you guys, when, before you download it, I uh, just want to show you how to set it up so you guys can get the right settings. So first of all, guys, uh, you're going to click on a slot. Uh, once you install it, Windows or Mac supports 32 and 64 bit. Once you install it, you're going to put it in. So it's called Burton Denoiser, just like this. And as you guys can see, if I turn it up, it still sounds right. I'm sorry for... <laughs> I'm sorry if this is going to blow your ears, but I need to turn it up so you guys can hear the noise. Like that. And in order for this to work, we're going to have to take the threshold and move it up to 0.50, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kill the 10 hertz all the way down to minus 30. Like this. And I'm going to turn it on so you guys can see. If we take these up, it's still there, it's, it's very gentle, but it's still there. So we're gonna kill that completely, and the 3.2 hertz as well. And this will not affect our vocals at all, or the frequencies of our vocals. If we have this on, as you guys can see, we've got this humming and buzzing in the background, which is very annoying. But with it on, it's very quiet. How cool is that guys? And the best thing about this is you guys can place this onto your main microphone, the main input and record it with it on. So I can actually turn this on, turn on all my other plugins and I could start recording just like this. Yeah, Path Beats, showing you guys how to remove the noise from any vocal, vocals. Guys, come on. All right, that wasn't the best song I made, but yeah, I just made it up. But you guys get the point. Uh, let me just turn this off. <laughs> that was on the live input, as you guys could see. And we completely took away that noise. Check this out. Yeah, Path Beats, showing you guys how to remove the noise from any vocal. Vocals. <laughs> guys, come on. Now, you guys can see I've recorded without the any effects uh, pre on the in. If we set this to uh, post, then we're going to record with all the effects. So we can turn these effects on and record with all the effects. So pre means we're going to record the microphone as it is without any effects. And the post, we're going to record after the effects have taken place. Now check this out. Yay! Path Beats, music production, YouTube, subscribe. <laughs> make sure you guys hit the like and make sure you subscribe. And let's have a look. Let's play that back. Yay! Path Beats, music production, YouTube, subscribe. <laughs> make sure you guys hit the like. Now you guys can see. Uh, if you also, this is a cool thing, this pre and post, because you can put the 
vocals into effect and record with the effect on. But obviously, you want to make sure that denoiser is on. So you're going to put uh, post record. So you record after the microphone is input and after all these effects have taken effect. If you put it on pre, it won't work. It's going to remove this effect. So you want to make sure this is set to post. This way, we will remove all this background noise with one click. And this is how good it is, guys. Check this out. I'm going to put it on max. Sorry if I break your ears. Look. This is without it and with it on. I mean, look, the pop, pop filter. How cool is that? And with it off, boom. Humming, noise background is just really, really bad. And only reason, guys, I was whispering there because I probably would blow your eardrums. <laughs> so that's why it's just had to kind of calm down. But you guys, you can grab it from Producer Buzz. You know how it is. It's Pav here showing you the best vocals, presets, VST plugins. And this is definitely a one that I'm going to be using moving forward on all of my streaming and all my videos because it just makes it sound like I'm recording in a studio. I mean, how good is this? Also, guys, if you enjoy this, make sure, guys, you hit the like. Please make sure you subscribe. Apart from that, stay safe. Drop more suggestions below. Peace out. Whoosh. Pow.